All right. When asked how many men she reincarnated, Soviet sniper with reincarnated, you mean like deleted? Yeah, so I think we're that's using, a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we're using a YouTube language so that we don't get uh, strikes at all. Uh, Sno Soviet sniper Lyudmila Pavlich Enko Pavlich Pav okay whatever uh, reply enough. yeah not men fascists when if ever is it okay to dehumanize a person it's, she said they were not men they were fascists I mean most fascists are men so I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. She's I mean, coming that, at it. Sexist. She's coming at it from that angle of like these aren't humans. These are, you know, yeah, worse than that, fresh. right? That's that's where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think. Mean, when did she say that? Yeah, go on. Oh, I I imagine that was back in uh mm. like World War Two era. That's that's what mm. I imagine. What do you think? What do you think about this? I I think it's I think the problem with allowing the dehumanization of anybody it it allows us to treat them worse right it's like it's not a popular opinion to say that you know murderers are are people too and deserve to still be not tortured and so forth right mm. like but it's but it's if if we feel comfortable doing that to those those people that sit in the most heinous of spots in society you know are aren't we aren't we judged by how we take care of the the most hated and the most vulnerable right like isn't isn't that a yeah. measure of society so yeah i, I mean I don't yeah think it's good. i mean yeah i mean that's not a for people who are wondering that's not a pro-fascist statement okay that's right um <laughs> and I, uh, I also i also want you to people to not dismiss what something actually is because that will make us not find the roots of the problem i mean yeah take them out when you need to right especially you know but at the end of the day taking them out is not going to as you know target the root of how we have this idea growing and part of um recognizing and understanding how the, something like this can grow in a society is to understand the nature of what we're dealing with and the nature of what we're dealing with is men is there is humans mm -hmm. right we are it's the human brain that has tendencies that could then be manipulated and used to to create something like fascism right yeah. so when you completely otherize fascists away from their human nature you are seeing it so much out of the realm of our understanding no. that the only solution that you can see for it would be a bullet because they are a, you act like they're a completely different species right but then when you actually humanize it and recognize that this is a human problem you will find the tools to address it from again i'm not saying take don't take them out when you need to right but again that's a short term fix the longer term fix is to see the human element of it and also for you to realize that every single one of us could have become a fascist yeah. given the right conditions in the right yeah. environments given that this is such a human problem yeah. so yeah do not separate the human from the fascist because it's is is by connecting them and recognize the human within the fascist for you to be able to have any hope to ever be able to address the roots of the problem right and again that's yeah. not a that is not to say don't call out the bad actions by by bad people right it's to say that don't forget that they are people still. When somebody does a bad action, we should strongly condemn it. We should say, this is not good. This is not the right thing. Don't do that, right? But if we take that next step to say this person has done something that they are no longer part of humanity, well, then that's where all the genocidal rhetoric starts. That's what you do. The first thing that you do is you tell people, hey, this group over here, we don't even need to be concerned about them like we are with other people. And so, yeah, any anytime we're in that boat,
we should always make sure we don't step over that line. Again, call out fascists. I'm happy to stand right there with you, shoulder to shoulder. You know, that's crap. That's crap. That's crap. Absolutely. But yeah, the the dehumanization isn't isn't a successful method. And not only is it not successful, but there's a lot of harm that comes with it. So. To be fair, though, as a sniper, you might need to do that for your job. And that, yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. A totally very, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Maybe, in that like, scenario, it might be fair for her because if yeah. you want to, like, when you're, when you're a sniper yeah. and you're taking out fascists, if you're, like, thinking about the fact their that children people, and their yeah, children, they yeah, have a probably. family, they're humans. You're not going to be very effective at what yeah, you do, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So totally, maybe totally we're not agree. criticizing her for thinking like that because, like, you know, that's how you do that. But for the rest of us, I don't think it might not be very helpful, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, for anybody that needs to hear this, we're not saying when we're saying fascists are human too. We're not like endorsing fascism. I hope nobody thinks that what you're doing. I I think some somebody's gonna think that we're saying that. Right, so I right. have to clarify I that. I know. No, no, right. it's worth it. Just again, it's not an endorsement of the actions or ideology. <laughs> we're just simply saying we shouldn't dehumanize fascists, yeah. just like we shouldn't dehumanize anybody. Right. And it doesn't help when we have fans of this channel who are actually endorsing fascism. And this is not a troll. Oxymoron I mean, actually believes this. Yeah. And I would yeah. I would definitely just argue, I think inherently in in the definition of fascism, it's bad. I just yeah. I would say that it's always but guys, yes, like is. oxymoron is saying this is offensive. Fascism fascism isn't always bad. And but guys, he's not joking. He actually believes this. So this is not a joke. So I am concerned, yeah. but yeah, you know, I am very yeah. concerned. Not a fan of it myself. So yeah. But. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.